Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we're gonna back in function this 17 inch HP Pavilion laptop. But we're gonna do something different. Well, this laptop is with 5th generation of Intel i5 CPU and 8 gigs of RAM. And basically this is only good here. Because anything other is broken or not working. The case is broken to that point that cannot be repaired. On the keyboard only few keys are working. The trackpad is not working. This laptop is without hard disk and the display is broken also. Actually my friend bring me this laptop. I mean something that left from this laptop and asked me to do something on a very budget. But something different because he want to use this computer in his art studio. Well, basically we have a few tasks. To make some upgrades, to make something with an original design, something that will fit in art, something unusual and all of this for a very cheap. Well, let's start and first I will start by removing the working components from the inside. And this is what we have for beginning. A motherboard with 8 gigs RAM, power button, speakers, power cable, the cable with USB and audio jack that later I tested and unfortunately it is not working. Also we have this cable and the Wi-Fi. Well, before we continue with something, first let's clean all the parts and make it shines again. Well, and now after cleaning, everything is looking much better. Now, I will apply a fresh thermal paste over the CPU and I will mount the cooling fan and the heat sink. Well, but on the motherboard one more thing is missing and that is the BIOS battery. Fortunately, these batteries are easy to find. They are cheap and easy to change. So I got one new and I place it on a motherboard. Well, now after I got all parts clean and fully functional, I start with planning the PC case. At first I want to make some small case. But this is very usual. But also it will request an additional monitor and it will take much more space. So I turn a new page and I move on something other. Like all-in-one PC. 
but this requires to find some display and different design. First, I found a 17 inch display that cost me 15 euros, or that's about a 16 US dollars. I got it cheap because this is used display but in a verge condition. After I got the display, from the upper part of the laptop, I took the flex cable. Well, now when I got everything that I need, I moved on cleaning the display. To clean the display, I used anti-static glass cleaner, 96% isopropyl alcohol, soft cleaning clothes, cotton buds and a soft brush. And as always, I must say, if you're going to clean some display, be careful. Do not press heavy, because you will easy break the display. And do not let any kind of liquid to enter to inside, I mean to pass the corners around, because that may damage the display also. And the average display condition doesn't mean good condition. The display, it may have some scratches that are barely visible or visible, and mostly these displays are coming dirty. So cleaning and the risk stays on the buyer. Well, now the display is looking much better. On the left side, there are few scratches that are barely visible, but also there are a few other scratches that are almost visible, but noticeable under a specific angle and under a light. So basically, this is what to expect from a cheap display. Well, now let's move on the case. So here I'm gonna be short because this is a very long process, but is not difficult process and easy to make. The case I'm going to make from a wooden serving tray. A serving tray that most of us are using for serving food, drinks, coffee, tea, but it's good for building computers also. But this serving tray is a little bit smaller, so I will need to make it larger. Well, first I will start with removing the back side, because I need to take out the glass and to make some other modifications. Well, after I remove the bottom side and the glass, I cut the both sides with the handles. Then I make a two new sides from a wood and I stick it together. To make the case more durable, in the corners I stick metal brackets. Now, after the glue gets dry, the case is stable and durable. Now, let's move on the motherboard holder and the other modifications. First, I start with getting all dimensions and planning. I had to be sure that everything will fit to the inside and anything will be stable and safe. Now, I mark where are the motherboard inputs and outputs, or the I.O. And after, carefully cut and I make space for the I.O. After I finish with the I.O., I move on making the motherboard holder. The motherboard holder is very simple and it's made from two wooden sticks. First, I measure where the holders will be placed and then I'll stick the bolt holders. After the glue gets dry, I place the motherboard. And now I mark where I need to fix the motherboard on the holders. After this, I drill six small holes. Actually, here the motherboard will be fixed on the case. Also, near the I.O. I make space for the power button. Now I move on the display holder. The display holder, it is very simple actually is made from a small wooden parts and I stick all the parts from the inside of the case. 
After I stick the display holders, I start with planning the stand. The stand, I will make it from the handles that are from the serving tray. So this is going to be a base of the stand. Also from wood, I make two holders from the stand. These holders will make the case more stable and prevent from sliding. Well, now I will move on the back side. First, I start with removing the small metal pins from these sticks. And then, using sandpaper, I remove the old glue and I make it smooth. Then, using glue, I stick all these four sticks at the back side. This actually, it will be a back panel holder. After the glue gets dry, I place three spikes from each side to make the back panel more stable. Also, I use spikes because are flexible and easy to modify later. Well, after I finish with the back side, I move on the last thing, and that is making the display bezels. The display bezels are made from wood also. Three of them are thinner for the top side left side and the right side. And one is larger and that is for the bottom side. Also in the bezel I made holes where later we will place the screws. After we are done with the basic parts I move on painting. The computer case from the outside I paint it into a white. And over the motherboard holders I apply a wood stain. Over the back panel I apply wood stain also because I want to refresh the color. And I use the same wood stain for the display bezel. Well, now basically the case is finished. And before I continue with assembling, first we will do some upgrades. The first upgrade is the RAM. From 8 gigs of RAM, I will go to 16 gigs. The RAM will increase the speed and will make this computer running faster. And the second, let's say upgrade, is the disk. As disk, I will use a 240 gigs Kingston SSD. But the SSD we're gonna mount later. Well, now let's build this computer. First, I need to lift up the motherboard a little bit. And for this, I will use a furniture field pads. Now, instead of using screws, I will literally tie the motherboard using zip ties. But there is a reason why. First, the screws that can pass through the motherboard holes are too thin. And if I use screws, the motherboard won't be stable. The screws actually won't hold even a few days under normal usage. But the zip ties are strong enough for a very long time of use. Also the fill pads and the zip ties are not power conductive, so it won't be any problems in the future. Now, after I tie the motherboard, I will continue with mounting the other components. Well, and the last part is the power button. The power button is from the inside. And to reach the power button, I will use a stick from the hot melt glue gun. Actually, I place a small part and out to reach the button from the inside. Before I continue with anything, first I test the computer. I want to be sure that all is good and all is working. And now I can mount the bezel. Tambourine, bring a bass. 
Well, and this is how the computer is looking. The display is fully visible, the case is very lightweight, which is very important, and from the back side there is an out space for airflow. Also, the components are very stable from the inside. So if I move the case, nothing will move from the inside. Now let's move on the stand. The stand I will make it from one handle, from a serving tray and three other wooden sticks, one metal pipe and metal brackets. But also to make the stand more stable, I make small wooden rings. And also for the stand, I will use a shoelaces. Well, now first let's stick the stand. Well, when everything is done, before I continue with anything else, first I paint the stand. The handle I paint it into a white and over all wooden parts I apply a wood stain. Well, now let's mount all parts together. And finally, this is the stand and the final result. The stand is pretty stable. The computer won't slide or fall from the stand. And also the stand is a little bit adjustable. Actually the stand is looking like a painting easel. Now when everything is complete let's move on testing. The window stand is working pretty fast and is much faster and better than expected. Starting from boot into the windows, running softwares, navigating through windows and anything else. The web browsing is pretty fast and very satisfying. Everything is normal and functional and nothing is missing. And even with these specs I can play and watch 4K videos. Also the HDMI port is available so this computer can be connected to TV or another monitor. The hardware is fully functional and everything is working without any problems. The display brightness are adjustable. The Wi-Fi signal is pretty good and the other things are working pretty well. The speakers are much better than I personally expected. Actually, I'm afraid that the audio will be very bad. But actually, the audio is pretty clean and loud. And so this is how it sounds.
Well, and the last thing are the gaming performance. I install and play the GTA 5. Because I really was curious how it will be and I want to check the temperatures. In GTA 5 I used minimum settings, DirectX 11 and 720p or HD resolution. And the game is working pretty fine. The frame rate is going between 25 and 40, which is not bad at all. And the game is fully playable. The temperatures are fine and very normal. And there is no any problem with overheating. The back side is open and there is an out space for the fresh air. Well, and basically this is all about this laptop to all-in-one PC transformation. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give an ideas and inspiration to back in function some old tech. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.